my friend had left his loaded 45 at the party and asked me to take care of it. And I remember hiding in a little closet. And I remember putting that loaded 45 up to my face and thinking that I could end it. You know, I always felt like my kids deserved better, that a mom dead would be better than a mom absent and not there because of drugs. Everything was just black. I didn't see any light, any hope. Married, had babies, had a semi-corporate career, and then my grandfather passed away. I got cervical cancer around 30 years old, and I remember just a friend and I were out drinking one night, and she's like, hey, let's go get some dope. And I was like, oh yeah, I can just do it on the weekends. Told myself right out loud that I wasn't gonna stop until I either died or went back to prison. Got arrested in the clothes I had on my back. I was living at a drug house. I had no idea that I was capable of changing who I really was inside. I thought that's just who I was destined to be forever. I actually heard about the Walker Center in jail. And in all honesty, I was doing it as an out to get out of going to jail. It didn't take long, I mean, just a couple days of getting to know them to find out that they actually cared about what they were doing. They actually cared about addicts. I just know that it feels right to be at the Walker Center doing what I'm doing and that I go to sleep with a clear conscience every night if I at least try to help one person. I'm just blessed beyond measure. You know, every day I thank God for my kids and my husband, my grandbabies, and um, I just thank all the people for my treatment, you know, as it went along, all the little bits and pieces that everyone shared with me to uh, help me build a brand new me. Every year, the Walker Center helps people across the Northwest regain control of their lives. If you're ready to start down your road to recovery, get a confidential assessment at thewalkercenter.org or call 1-800-227-4190.